It's almost the holidays, so it's time for us to make food for the gods. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients. One cup butter, two and a half cups of brown sugar, three whole eggs, one tablespoon vanilla, three tablespoons molasses, one and one fourth cups all-purpose flour, one fourth teaspoon salt, 250 grams of chopped dates, 250 grams of chopped walnuts. Cream together. I have here butter and brown sugar. You cream this for about three minutes. By the way, we will add the salt and the vanilla with the butter and the brown sugar. After three minutes, we add in the eggs one at a time. You make sure that the egg is well blended in before you add in the next egg. If you accidentally added two eggs, don't worry about it. Alright, see? You can't see the egg, so we add the last one. And then we add the molasses. If you do not have molasses or you don't like the flavor of molasses, you can replace this with honey or corn syrup. But you know, there's a nice flavor from molasses. All right, then we lower the speed and then uh, shut it off and then scrape. All right, to make sure it's well mixed. Okay. And then we will add in the flour. Again, at low speed. So you don't get the flour all over your face. By the way, don't forget to sift the flour before you measure. That is true for all recipes. And then, once, don't over mix. Once you don't see the flour in the center, see? Then that's all right. Don't worry about the flour on the sides. Okay, I usually add my uh, dates and my walnuts by hand because I don't want you to crush your dates or mash your dates, okay? It's very important that you don't over mix this. Then we add in our walnuts. You know, uh, you know this recipe is a bit expensive because of the walnuts and the dates. So what you can do is you can either reduce the walnuts and the dates a little bit or you can, uh, instead of walnuts, you can add half walnuts and one half of uh, I would say uh, cashew nuts and then for the dates also you can use one half dates and one half raisins But that's not the original recipe. The original food for the gods uses walnuts and dates only. All right Okay, so see you don't have to mix this for a long time and then we're going to use a 13 by 9 by 2 baking pan you can use a similar size one. Uh, it depends on what you have and it depends on how thick you want your food for the gods to be. If you'll notice, this has no baking powder, so you don't expect this to rise. All right, it will rise a little bit because of the addition of the eggs. Aside from that, it will not fill the container. Here you line this with parchment paper or you can use aluminum foil, okay? Food for the gods is a bar cake. All right, and then we smoothen this. By the way, you can use a one inch, a, a pan with a one inch height, okay? I just don't have that, so I'm using this one. And then let's put this in the oven. 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. 
you know all the recipes baking time is only approximate so you have to check it a few minutes before the the time that I gave you is only a guide all right so let's put this in the oven all right here we'll check after maybe 25 minutes all right let's check our food for the gods okay, okay. see You will see no crumbs. However, if you touch it, it's a little bit soft, but this is cooked already, okay? What you need to do is you chill this overnight. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. All right, let's slice our food for the gods. We have chilled this. Actually, this is not overnight. I chilled this only for about four hours. Okay. Because once it's chilled, it cuts neatly. See? So this recipe has really a lot of dates and walnuts. Okay. You cut this into squares. Uh, it depends on you on what size you want to make. I usually make mine one by one. If you want to uh, put them in little pouches, you have to wrap this in a strip of cellophane first. Alright? You don't have to put tape. And then, you put this inside a pouch. This is what they call a pastry pouch. And then you put this in like this. The pouch comes in different sizes, so it's up to you what size you're going to use. It depends also on how big your slices are. And then you seal this okay so let me make another one so this is just a strip of cellophane like this we call these cello sheets but they're just cellophane which are pre-cut I mean when they say you're pre-cut they're pre-cut in like sheets and then you cut them in little strips so you wrap cellophane around by the way you will notice that when uh, you don't wrap the food for the gods it has a dull look but after you've wrapped it in cellophane, after a day or two, it will form like a uh, shiny top. And then here, see, like this. And you just push this in, okay? And then seal. Use an impulse sealer, okay? 